Hi everyone, so um, today I'm going to do this hair and makeup tutorial and I actually wasn't going to film um, a tutorial today so I, I already curled my hair um, earlier and because I didn't realise I was going to film this today. So basically it's this look, I, I wore this look in when I went to Paris, so I've done a vlog on um, when I went um, and a lot of people were like please can you do a tutorial of the look. I'm going to start with the hair. I kind of like made it the hairstyle as an accident. I was just literally playing around and like twisting the hair around and like making a fringe when I'd done it originally. So, uh, so I'm going to try and kind of recreate it. It just takes a lot of tweaking and stuff like that. So basically, curl your hair. I've used this curler. I, I was pretty sure I did when I went out there. It's the Babyliss Curler Curling Wand and it has like adjustable heat settings. I just basically curl my hair all around, um, I don't do every single bit, like some bits I miss out but most of it I kind of curl. I'm just going to redo a few of the curls just to kind of show you how I do it. But it's really really simple so I just literally wrap it around and then wait <laughs> and do it um, all over the hair. Yeah, just get little bits, and it doesn't matter if the curling isn't perfect, because to be honest, when I like, um, I'm going to heap it on top of my head in a minute, and uh, when you do that, you, I like adjust the curls and tweak it anyway, so don't worry about kind of getting the perfect curls all over. Um, so I'll just do a few more over here. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for the curling for now. Um, I'll keep those on though. So then your hair should look something like this, just kind of curly, and I usually kind of finger comb the curls out so they look a little bit more kind of not as stuck together. So this is the, part, the main bit of it really and then after that it's just loads of tweaking. So basically just bring your hair up and over just like that and then kind of twist it into shape. I don't know how much you can see. Yeah so basically when you twist it up like that and then I kind of grab it <laughs> it's really, sorry, it's, it might sound a bit vague, but this is basically what I do. Um, I don't, so just make sure you get all of it, you don't leave the sides, but we're going to pull some of the sides out as well. So just grab it all, kind of like when you're doing a bun, or you know, like when you clip your hair up. I just twist it over a bit there, grab yourself loads and loads of bobby pins, and I just stick in the bobby pins, and if you crisscross them over each other, it helps them to stay in place. Just try and make the hair as tight as you can, but um, and there, I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, but this is just what I, what I done. I'm not a hair expert or anything, so I just kind of, you know, go with the flow and just make stuff happen. So, <laughs> hi! I like bits falling at the sides because I think it looks quite feminine and like cute. Oh, I'm really hot. Okay, so you'll have like this big mess at the top of your head. Um, I'll just put that bit behind my ear for now. And then kind of try to find the side front bit of it here. And I kind of just moulded that into a... Uh, <laughs> moulded that into a fringe. Um, like that. And then just decide like how much hair you want at the front. Like I don't want too much at the front because it will look too much. Hopefully you can see the side there. I just kind of try and scrape back the sides so they look quite neat. Then I also kind of put a slide somewhere in the middle here just to kind of um, stop the hair from moving around. Because if you leave it all at the top and then say you kind of go out and about and it's windy it will just all go like flying everywhere so I do that. Not exactly the same, but it's really hard to get it exactly the same <laughs> as it was. Like I said earlier, if you want to kind of tweak the front and make it a little bit more kind of ringlety, you can always um, add a few curls here and there. A bit of the side, I'm just going to curl so it's like a ringlet <laughs> hang in there, hopefully. So at the front, um, I've, I've been tweak, trying to tweak it and stuff for ages and I, it's really hard to get it perfect but I've kind of um, tried to get it as perfect as I can so at the side it should look kind of just like a updo, I don't know how neat that is but yeah. And then the other side looks a little bit like a comb over but hey. So when you're happy with it, 
which I'm not totally happy with it, but it's, you know, when it gets really frustrating, I can't deal with hair. So, um, but anyway, <laughs> we're happy with it. Spray it with a bit of hairspray so it stays. And um, now I'm gonna move on to the makeup. Um, this is just a look that I come, came up with a little while ago and I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. So I'm gonna start by using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and Real Techniques Buffing Brush. MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NC35. That's a kind of completely flawless um, base. I'm going to use my powder in, um, it's a Sephora powder which is broken, but it's the mineral one in uh, MAC Tan. 35 I think it is, and I'm just using, I think it's a crown brush, I'm not sure, but just a kabuki. Um, just to set the makeup. Now I'm going to shape my eyebrows, um, just my kind of normal everyday eyebrow look that I do so. I, I start by using my Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil. Then to kind of fill the brows in I use my Sleek Brow Kit in light and my Sigma like angled brow brush. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow and um, I think I used, when I first created this look, uh, MAC Rice Paper. And then I also use Woodwinked, which is this colour here. So any kind of um, bronzy um, neutral colour and a lighter neutral colour. I'm using my Sigma Taper Blending Brush. I'm using rice paper all over the lid. And on the brow bone. Then I'm going to place a little bit of the Woodwinked in my crease. And that's it really, it's it's really simple, like, I don't do, um, I don't, you know, use a lot of different eyeshadows during the day or anything, if I do it's like one or two, um, that's about it. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner, L'Oreal Super Liner, Liquid Liner. Now I'm going to apply mascara and apply false lashes because the false lashes is what really gives this look a bit of oomph as well as the lips when I finish it. My Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes which are like my favourite false lashes. I've tried so many and I love these. They look quite natural but they're really full and like they kind of crisscross over like that of each other. So I just like the look it gives. So I'll be back in a minute when I just apply these. I'm going to do a bit of um, bronzing and highlighting, so I'm going to use my NARS Casino Bronzer, my Real Techniques Blush Brush, um, to apply that first, so just get a bit on there. Bit on the nose. Chin. And I would do the forehead, but my hair's just like, I don't want to touch it because it will get ruined. Um, okay, so I've bronzed up. And then now I'm just going to apply a little bit of highlighter. So I use, usually use the MAC um, Pearl Cream Colour Base. And I just use my fingers and apply a bit to the top of my cheekbones. Like always. And last but not least, I'm just going to do the lips, which, which kind of makes this whole look, you know, pop. <laughs> and um, it gives it that pop of colour and... Um, pulls it all together. So I'm using, guess what colour it is guys? <laughs> this is the first kind of time I discovered this colour though when I done this makeup look first and then I just fell in love with it. So um, it's the NYX Soft Matte, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Sao Paulo. Okay, make sure your lips are moisturised because it can be a little bit drying after a little while. And I wouldn't say actually this lasts all day long. After wearing it for quite a while now, uh, it does get a bit patchy, so you do have to touch it up. But the colour is just like, I, I don't mind dealing with that because the colour is just gorgeous. Oh, 
Also, before I finish, I I'm actually going to line my eyes with um, Max pencil, eye pencil in Power Surge, which is kind of like a bronzy colour, so any bronzy eyeliner. And I'm just going to put that in my waterline. Kind of makes the eyes stand out a little bit more. Um, kind of like they, you know, like when you use black coal liner, but I find it's so much more subtle and it's not as heavy as a black coal in the eyes, which really closes up the eyes a lot and makes them look um, very small. And um, so if you can see it kind of, it does make them more defined, but it's not too, too dark. My eyes are going, going red now because that feels weird. So this is the finished look. I hope you liked this tutorial. I've got a lot of requests and everything to do this kind of look of this hairstyle and this makeup. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, sorry if it's a bit samey. I try not to do the same tutorials again and again on my channel. But um, this is kind of it. So I hope you like it and hopefully you can use it sometime this summer or even winter or whatever really. So thank you for watching and I'm going to get like a haul, um, what a home uh, bits and bobs and decor video up soon for you guys as well. So yeah, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you soon. Bye. How's the battery dying already? <laughs> Can you hear it? What's he doing in there? Are you alright? Oh god, is he dying? One minute. <laughs> You bought me tea, two sugars and a half. <laughs> it's really hot, I can't drink it right now. Oh god, what are you doing? <laughs> Get this all in. Mm. Yeah, this is a new tattoo. Mm. <laughs> okay, go on. Right Check. <laughs> you didn't see, did you? Yeah, I see you. <laughs>